if you're a commercial photographer, you need to have a portfolio. Your website is likely your portfolio. That's a first point of contact for potential clients, art buyers, art producers to see your work. But when you go and you have a meeting, you absolutely need to take a digital portfolio. So in this video, I'm going to talk about the only app you need. The only app you need is the Behance app. It's free. It's available for both iOS and Android, and it's connected to your Behance account, which is connected to your Adobe account. If you're not using Behance, you need to start. You need to start today. Head to Behance.net and set up a Behance account. I'll link to the app on both the Apple App Store and the Google Play Store. While you're looking for that and while you're down there, you can hit the subscribe button to this channel and head to the App Store, download the app, and then we'll head to the Behance website. So we're going to start by going to Behance.net. This is the home page. It's got a For You section, but we're going to go up here to the upper right to our profile and click on Behance Profile. When you get to your profile, you'll see all your work. If you don't have any work uploaded yet, then we're going to get started and go to share your work. Click on project and it's going to take you to this page and you can drag and drop right onto this. This is a mood board I'm working on with images that I created in mid journey. So now that it's loaded, I'm going to click on settings. I'm going to give the project a name, AI mood board. I'm just going to click photography because you need to add a category. Visibility, I'm going to set to private. Then I'm going to hit publish. That's it. So now on my tablet, I'm going to open up the Behance app. It's got my profile right there and you can see the project is already there as AI mood board. All I need to do is click on that and the images are right there ready to go. And if I tap on an image, then I can get it full screen and then I can just swipe for images. If I go back, then I can just scroll. The great thing is the Behance app is available not only for your tablet, but for your phone. So if I head over to my phone, I'm going to tap the Behance app, click on my profile, AI mood board right there, ready to go. It's that quick. I can just scroll there. The great thing too about uh, using a, a tablet or a phone is that you can just pin the app and then people can't get to other aspects of your phone. They just can't get to other sections of your phone. So if I'm in a meeting with a client or an art buyer, art producer, and they happen to flip to this image and they say, wow, I love that. Do you have anything else like that? Then I can say, yes, pull out my tablet, go to the project where I photograph the reenactors. And then there it is full screen. And they can just start swiping through and looking at the other images that I've created of reenactors. Uh, from the War of 1812 over uh, at the battlefield, not too far from here. So the Behance app is really the only app you need for your digital portfolio. But if you want to see why I recommend using a print portfolio, click on this video now and check that out. Thanks for watching.